The dwarves of Erebor have been forced from their homeland by the dragon Smaug and are now looking for a new home. They go back to their ancestral home of Khazad-dum, also known as Moria. And this, today guys, is the Battle of Azum no ba Azum Bazaar. I'm pretty sure it's how you try and pronounce it. That's definitely awful how you pronounce it. It's set in the Third Age, 2799. And uh, yeah, this is actually also known as the Battle of Moria. If you've seen the um, Hobbit movies, which uh, obviously got mixed reviews and how good they are, uh, in the Hobbit movies, in the very first one, in the uh, Unexpected Journey, I'm pretty sure it's called, um, there is a, a battle that uh, a Thrain and uh, Thorin and all that fight uh, the white orc Azog, the Defiler, the very first time, and he beheads the king, uh, or Thrall, not uh, Thrain, the king Thrall. And uh, yeah, that is this battle that we are doing today. That is the Battle of Moria, also known as Az Azan Null Bazaar or something like that. Definitely pronouncing it very wrong, but I can't do Dwarvish. Uh, so I'm not even going to truly really try. So I'll just call it the Battle of Moria. But yes, today here we have a huge uh, Dol Guldor army. They are representing the uh, Orcs of the Misty Mountains since we don't have a uh, an Orcs of the Misty Mountain faction today uh, or yet in the mod. This is obviously the Rise of Mordor mod for Attila, if you are unaware of the mod. Um... Do cover it a lot on the channel. Obviously, is a, a bit of a work in progress. There are a lot of factions in it, but there are obviously still a lot yet to be added. And yeah, as you can see, we have the uh, the orcs of um, well, the Misty Mountains, but really the Dol Guldur. Um, but we'll be calling the orcs of the Misty Mountain today. But they're in their like Dol Guldur armor and stuff. They look awesome. And uh, as always, but yes, there are fifteen thousand of them here today, facing five thousand dwarves. And we're going to be able to see whether the dwarves can defeat the orcs of the Misty Mountain and uh, take back. Moria for themselves. Obviously, in history, they won the battle, but they couldn't take the uh, the homeland of Moria because they had taken so many losses. So yes, as you can see, this one starts off pretty way, uh, pretty quickly. Why I have uh, stopped it, and uh, as you can see, we are about to clash. Uh, if you haven't already, and you'd like to see more of this uh, mod, then do remember as well to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and a comment to show your support. As always, we're working towards 3K subs, and I'd really be grateful for your support but anyway i will press start now and uh, we will see how this one takes place as you can see it's just gonna be a basically a big old charge between the two forces uh the dwarves didn't really get much of a place to set up which is a shame we kind of wanted them to set up more up on this slope um but they they decided to set up down here and this was kind of a scenario that we organized with the discord so if you'd like to join the discord to uh, get involved in some of these uh rise mortal scenarios or just any other total war scenarios then um yeah do join the link is down below in the description and uh, as you can see, we are getting underway. It could be a little bit laggy. Uh, there is a lot of troops in a very small area. Hopefully that is not the case, or it's not too laggy, but uh, we'll see how it goes. You can see all these, this long line of like orcs here that are setting up. This could be a pretty spicy one. You see this long line of iron foot. Well, they're not iron foot because they're not iron hill troops, but like the dwarves of Erebor. And in they go, they're gonna go charging in. The dwarves v orcs, who will win? And the general's already been attacked by somewhere. You can see the dwarves kind of actually got. That's a bit un, a bit unfortunate. It's a bit unepic because they kind of went for the unit beyond them, and they kind of will charge beyond. And as you can hear, we have uh, Lord of the Rings music in it. I don't know if I'm going to have it very loud uh, or like at all in it. But there is Lord of the music, uh, Lord of the Rings music. Uh, there's a pack coming, or oh, I have the pack on, uh, and that will be uh, being added. So yeah, you might be able to hear it. Um, I'll go quiet for like two seconds, but I don't really want to have it on for much longer. I'm probably going to make a cut in a moment and come back to the battle. So showing it off a little bit, but uh, I'm probably going to have it turned off, uh, if not fully. I mean, I'm probably just going to say zoomed in on this so you can uh, so you can't really hear the music. There is a, yeah, I will just basically say for a disclaimer, there is a uh, like Lord of the Rings music being played in this in this battle. It's the Lord of the Rings music music pack. Um, whether I'll have it in. I'm actually, I think I'm just going to turn down, I'm just going to pause, I'm going to turn down music uh, quickly because it is very, very loud and I'm talking very loudly right now, so just so um, we can't hear it. So yeah, I'm going to turn music actually fully off uh, just because, well, we've heard it, you've heard it a little bit. If you didn't hear it, I do apologize. I just don't really want to get copyright striked. And uh, so yeah, we had it on a little bit, but if you are aware, there is a new Rise of Mordor update coming soon, so you will be able to have it uh, yourself and uh, have some Lord of the Rings music playing while you're while you're uh, playing Lord, are you playing Rise of Mordor, basically? As you can see, yes, it is uh, going off, and there's some random deer just going on in the background. They just don't mind what's going on. As you can see, it's just a big old uh, 
big old fight going on. I mean, there is some holes in the line here, and you can see that there is actually some gold little blades that have got in behind, and they're now dealing with uh, some Grim Hammers. There. I mean, this Grim Hammer unit is absolutely nasty, though, and you will not be breaking through this anytime soon. Uh, and you can see the orcs uh, just getting cut down by these dwarves with their huge hammers. Not quite sure how they're cutting down men with their hammers. You can see these uh, aerial axe warriors as well rear charging them. But they are going to pile on through more troops here. They have plenty more uh, Gulder blades where they came from. And these uh, these orcs are just a nasty old bunch. They really are going to cause a lot of trouble. Over here, another unit that's causing a lot of trouble is these uh, champions of Dol Guldur. The triple gold chevron. They are really nasty chevroned up. You can see they are going to uh, cause a lot of trouble to the, uh, to the dwarves over here. And they're actually losing these dwarves decisively. Uh, being pretty much beaten up by these uh, champions of Dol Guldur. These gold Glaives here not doing so well. They are actually losing decisively. In this fight here. And uh, yeah, a lot of pressure going on, on my flank here. I've got a lot of shock from tree. I think I had most of the shock from tree of the uh, enemy, enemy, enemy army. Enemy army. Here you can see there's one here, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine shock infantry units just in my small area alone. Um, yeah, I was having a really like tough time. I was like, I'm going to need a lot of reserves sent my way. But we haven't got many reserves. That's the problem. We have got very few. And I've actually got my uh, another Grim Hammer here in the back lines in combat. Again, these uh, Grim Hammers doing a lot of work, trying to just chop down these guys. Somehow with a hammer, they're chopping men down. A very interesting tactic by the Dwarves. But obviously, yeah, this is like uh, where most of the Dwarves are from like the uh, Hobbit fighting before they joined up with Thorin. They all fought together here. Certainly, like, I know um, there was uh, obviously Balin was there and Thorin was there and I'm pretty sure... Um, I'm trying to remember the um, the guy that uses a hammer usually most of the time. His name it's, that shows how memorable. I mean, that was I've read the Hobbit, but it was a very long time ago. Uh, Dwalin, that's it. Dwalin was another one that was fighting there. They were some of the uh, the warriors that were fighting in this battle. But yes, in uh, in history they did they did win some of the dwarves. Whether they'll win it today, you can see the bounce power is not looking in favour of them. But uh, that doesn't really matter. That's just all about numbers. Uh, quality of dwarves can persevere through. And we can see the dwarves here find some rates. Uh, some uh, a unit that won't break. This unit will not break. It's a pretty poor unit, but uh, they they'll last to the last man. They're kind of like berserkers in that in that sense. You can see wraiths breaking through the lines here, trying to uh, do damage. But we have some swords in reserve, or I should say axes in reserve, doing their best, chopping down some men. But yeah, I would also like to just say, I mean, going back to the music quickly, I would just like to thank the uh, dev team for allowing me to kind of like use the, uh, the music pack. I, I'm afraid that obviously I don't really want to risk using it uh, too much. Um, there are lots of different music that, uh, like that they've had it added in. They've got about four or uh, three or four, like I think per faction or something like that. Or they, They've got a lot of different music that's been added. I can't actually remember the exact numbers off the top of my head. There are a lot of uh, like tune... Uh, Lord of the Rings tunes that have been added. So, if you are enjoy listening to your Lord of the Rings uh, music, which obviously they've got a great soundtrack, why wouldn't you? Um, then yeah, I mean you'll really love that that being added. And you can see we've got a nice little charge here from the uh, Gul'dur Glaives and some uh, Grim Hammers. You imagine these Gul'dur Glaives are just going to get chopped down. They're already losing decisively. But yeah, there's a big opening here for the Dwarves in the front line. I mean this is a real problem I was trying to deal with. Uh, there's another one that's here that they've actually uh, closed off the Dwarves quite effectively. But it's just a, a big choke point here. Just a big choke point battle. It's not even a choke point battle. It's just a, a big grind. I love seeing like the dwarves just with their officers fighting on against. It is a little bit choppy. I think it's just because there's a lot of units in a lot of uh, like in a smaller area. This is like a we've barely used any of the map. This is the Moria map itself. Um, like you can see, this is like the Mines Moria in here. So it's like it's a it's a pretty hard thing to recreate the Mines Moria. But I mean, they've done quite a good job. Have the uh, of the uh, designs of this map. Ever. So yeah, I mean, it kind of goes on. It's just kind of like a bit from the movie. It kind of looks pretty similar. And you've got like this little bit out here where the uh, like all the uh, like I guess all the I don't know what they made at Moria was. Oh, they made Mithril, didn't they? They made yeah. Pretty sure they had Mithril male at uh, Moria. I could be wrong. Pretty sure that is what they uh, one of the things they prized him. But we'll come back over here and we'll watch this. It is getting a bit choppy. Enemy units have returned to the battle. You can see the dwarves doing their best.
There's just a long line here going on. Yes, the music only comes in, um, another thing to add about it, the music only comes in when you're like, there's units fighting. So you won't just hear it like, um, like in the loading screen or stuff like that. I believe it is only when they're like, the fight scenes. So you'll have like, certain music for when like, dwarves are fighting uh, orcs and when men are fighting men and elves are fighting whatever. I'm pretty sure that is the case, which is really cool that that's a thing. I believe that's how I read it, that's how it sa sound like it went. So yeah, you have specific sort of music going on, which is awesome. Uh, because there are like specific music that like you have going on for like when orcs are fighting the men and dwarves So they have different soundtracks. So I guess yeah, it's really cool. I just I mean I also what's really cool is just seeing all these units in like combat. I mean, it's just a great mod But what's not so great is seeing like all these units here one two three four five units of Erebor's uh, like infantry here losing decisively all next to each other So I called on a Erebor Axe Warrior to come in and needs to get in, involved here. We are killing this Champion's Double Dub. There is another one just as quickly getting ready to come up, uh, which is a real concern. Got some, gold, uh, some uh, Grimhammers in here as well, all mixed in, trying to deal with these uh, Champion's Double Dub. He's got their big swords, two handed swords. I mean, look at all these archers that they have free, just firing anything. They're not great archers, these Merkwood trackers, but they can do some can do some work if they need to. See another Goldor blade here, getting ready. I imagine this is going to go through this gap straight here. Yep, you can see the order attack order been given, and uh, I mean we've got archers and stuff ready to like focus them down. I mean these Erebor axe, uh, Erebor crossbow, sorry, actually getting some decent uh, angles and some stuff, but uh, they might need to might need to get some better angles in a moment. They're not like archers in the arc over the top. I mean, I wish we had some elven archers. I mean, I know I shouldn't be saying that as a dwarf. We shouldn't. We don't want the help of uh, the elves, those pesky elves. But we'll take what we can get at the moment. Some more blade. Uh, some more blades being sent in here. They're going to surround these dwarves. This right flank's looking a bit dicey at the moment. It's actually looking the most like uh, in trouble because you can see we've got like archers in combat here against wraiths and all other stuff. I feel like there was. Uh, yeah, we had more units breaking through here. We've got a gold blade breaking through this gap here. Which I don't think was really existent, but they kind of made it a thing. And you've got Grim Hammers that are going back. You've got crossbows here that are just going to focus these guys down, hopefully. But it's looking a little bit dicey. I mean, the spears in the front line are holding very nicely. Not really actually any action going on here, but they are actually doing a good job of just holding these men back. But these orcs, they're not men. Let's just turn this around so we've got a bit nicer view. This is the nicer view of more of like Attila. It's one of the worst things with this engine. Just like for one reason, on one end it looks terrible. And then on the others, like, if you turn it around, like, the camera around the other way, it looks quite nice. Like, this, it looks really, why it can't look nice both ways, I do not know. I wish someone made a mod for that. But you can see we start, got, uh, you start to see some pikes coming up for uh, Dol Gul Dur. Bring up some big old pikes, these guys are really nasty. We'll do a lot of nasty work in a moment. And they all break through, because the dwarves have never to respond to that. I mean, they got rid of the dwarven pikes, and, uh, a real shame, because... May have made the dwarves a little bit overpowered, but uh, I don't know because they can't. They don't have calves, so I mean, having pikes wouldn't be great. But I think there was just a bit of a. They had. They weren't quite happy with the model or something like that. I believe. But you can see this unit here. Goggle door blade is getting focused down by crossbows as it tries to come through here. It's dropping like numbers. You can see they've already lost 20 men. These uh, crossbows are really nasty. You've got these uh, grim hammers. That I think were being sent over to my side, which are now being sent back into the center to try and deal with these uh, Dolgo uh, troops that are coming through. They're going to charge these crossbows. And these crossbows, I don't think are going to like this one bit whatsoever. But I mean, the Grim Hammers are slowly coming to their aid. And in they go. I mean, the Grim Hammers kind of just saved the day there. Yeah, I mean, those, that Gold Door Blade unit is holding it in the Scrim Hammer in place. So this second one here can now break through. And they're actually having to pull back their general, which was doing quite well in combat here. 
And he's having to come back and so he can uh, like go back in and in other places. My men are breaking here, but they are actually rallying. But look at the thin line of dwarves that is just holding on. It's so thin. It's literally a man thick is the line now. And you can see, look how many men. My uh, general has just died though. Who's in combat? He's here in combat, fighting against pikes and all sorts. This is not good that the dwarves are uh, in a right old state here. Surrounded these uh, the storm generals. I'm not quite sure how he's got surrounded. He was uh, pretty safe in combat here. We've got all sorts in combat here. But this uh, dwarven line is looking absolutely brutal right now. You can see they're actually trying to pull through these archers. They actually have pulled through these archers. That's not so good. That's a bit cheesy. I don't like this. Pulling through their archers. They shouldn't do that. Uh, they're broken because of that, but they shouldn't be doing that anyway. It's uh, unfair, shouldn't especially when they have the numbers. But uh, yeah, the uh, Merkel tracker is breaking. That's fine. See all the dwarves down here still fighting on this, this long line. We're actually pushing them back. We're pushing uh, the uh, orcs back. You can see where the body started. We are forcing them back towards their own pikes now, which we kind of want to get away from. Their pikes are uh, pretty damn deadly. But yeah, we are winning in this area. And uh, it looks also a lot like on the right we're crumbling as well. See a lot of wavering going on here. Need a bit of hope. We need the eagles. Where are the eagles? Just anyone, anyone to turn up. Yeah, I was focusing down this with the crossbows here into the back of this uh, Gulder Glaive. Shooting a lot of them, helping that Grim Hammer General out. And uh, I mean, this Grim Hammer General now needs to go to combat somewhere else. He needs to support either on my left or whatever. You can see we've got uh, crossbows here now in combat against champions of the Dolgul, though that's a real shame. Need uh, need these crossbows operating as much as possible, really. Got the little axes out. Gonna do as much damage as possible. But yeah, there's a lot spewing through now. There's a big gap in the line here. My men started to break. I, this was the area where I had like five units wavering. And these poor dwarves over here are about to get surrounded. They've held so long and so well. I mean... And quite a good job. And they're going to get surrounded now by all sorts of horrible, nasty orcs. Nasty, smelly orcs. Look at these poor last few dwarves here getting surrounded. They'll get cut down in time. You see the uh, orcs starting, starting to get pikes in here now. They're going to be helping out against these uh, crossbows. Not that they need real help. This uh, champion's Dougal Dur has been uh, mopped up by the Grim Hammers and crossbows here. Another big win. We're seeming to turn it around a little bit on this. I can see the start would be a bit of a breaking, but it's still very even. I mean, there's a shock infantry. Grim Hammer here that is in behind. I could go for uh, some uh, gold or pikes if it fancied, or for just about anything, to be honest. Dwarves still holding. I mean, they've won here as well where this general is. Grim Hammer has kind of won here. And there's a bit of a space in the line. They might have to send some more uh, orcs back in. Because they're flanking on uh, these gold little gla uh, blades. Sorry. But it is looking really dicey on my side on the left flank. We're turning some Grim Hammers around. And they're trying to now defend this whole flank against gold little pikes. I've now got my crossbows firing point blank into this mass of uh, pikes here. Just trying to take out as many of these guys. I mean, they can't miss. They're so close. Trying to help those uh, Grim Hammers in combat. I mean, they're probably doing okay, but not amazing. But they're next on the list. As soon as this uh, Erebor crossbow dies here, they are next on the list. Got a general going in here, Champions of Dougal Duh. This is a fresh unit. Look at this, 160 men about to go into combat. Do as much damage as possible. Try and uh, break through the spear guard line, which is starting to buckle. But at this point, we've killed a lot of uh, we've killed a lot of orcs. We've killed nearly ten thousand. I mean, we have killed about yeah about ten thousand, and we've lost three thousand. So that shows like how good dwarves are. Dwarves don't need the odds. They'd rather have the odds against them, I think. 
But you also got to take into account that a lot of those 2,000 dwarves that we have left, quite a lot of them are still crossbows. We're running out of proper fighting men, or dwarves, I should say. These grim hammers, though, they'll do. They'll do. They'll get a fair few kills. And uh, as you can see over on this side, it looks like the uh, right flank's starting to turn around. Um, I mean, they've got crossbows and stuff. Just be able to point blank fire like this unit here. This needs to open up into the flank of this uh, this Golder Blade. And they could rack up some kills just while this uh, tiny unit of uh, Erebor Axe Warriors holds on. The center's looking okay. Left flank is really where it's starting to struggle. It's because I've had all the shock against me. And all the reinforcements. This was the first place any reinforcements just came into because it's the closest, closest spot. And as you can see, I'm actually breaking the... Uh, going to kill this uh, Golder Pike as it currently stands with my... Uh, Grim Hammers. Let's get the angle better. Again, we've got that ugly, ugly view of Attila. Got to get the nice, bright side. Yes, the pikes are getting involved in combat and they're dying because of it. Here comes some more pikes. Golder Pike staying up. I mean, yeah, I'm basically out. I am like just this yellow player here. And I have, I mean, I'm actually winning in most of the areas that I'm still fighting. Like here, winning. I'm fit winning against these pikes. They're not for long when this next one comes in. I'm not winning here, but there's hope. I mean, you can see over here, a general uh, of Grimham is trying to come across. Trying to flank this gold little pike. Trying to get a nice little flank and surround, or surround these guys. Uh, we need some more crossbows over here though, to focus these guys down. We're running out of uh, stuff to support here. A real issue. Yeah, the right flank is winning at this point. It's really good. There is actually some uh, orcs are flanked all the way around. They really probably shouldn't have done that. They were already winning as it is. Flanked around. Uh, like, they can go through this choke point over here. And they went round. And they started, uh, like, appearing here. And, uh, yeah. So, this was a bit of an annoying thing to see. But, uh, yeah. So, they're going to go to the back of these spear guards, we imagine. Or maybe these uh, crossbows will have to turn around and kill them. They did actually send some... Uh, Merc with tracks do the same, but they got gunned down by the crossbows, which is uh, good to see. But there you go, the right flank has been won, and they are now to, able to come over and support the centre. So there is still hope for, hope for the dwarves. I've just got to hold on long enough and hold all this back uh, to, so the right and centre can win their fight. So it's still very possible that the dwarves can do it. I know the number, like the balance fire doesn't look like it is, but it's now 5 to 1 odds, which is uh, actually worse odds than it was to start with. It was 3 to 1 odds before, but... Uh, who knows? Who knows? We need to kill a few generals for the uh, for Dolgodor. If they can kill some generals off, then they're in uh, trouble. Dolgodor's morale is not great compared to the dwarves. See Dolgodor here. Flanking around with that Guldor blade that I was just telling you about. The dwarves now in a bit of trouble. The spear guard. They've been holding for so long. They were going to hold forever as well. These guys still at 94 men. I mean, now they've got some crossbows to point. You can see these uh, arable crossbows. They're now rapid firing into the flank of that unit that's just arrived to uh, to flank the spears. And, I mean, they should rack up a few kills. I'd hope, anyway. I would hope. There's still more to come. Still more gold door glaives just appearing out of nowhere. And blades. Got, we've got all sorts. And, yeah, that poor... This is my last unit here. The crossbows getting uh, slowly squeezed by the pipes. Can't even get close. I mean, this guy has. This is an absolute baller here. Can he make it out? Or get a kill? Not at the moment. Not at the moment. Yes, this is where... Uh, this is where I uh, kind of leave the battle. I have nothing left, so I'm uh, basically just a, a spectator. And you can see the right is winning, though. So many gold chevrons for these Grim Hammers. They've done so well. Breaking this flank here. There's only tiny units left of pikes. And now they can sort of save this. Uh, what's going on here? But you can start to see the center is starting to get overwhelmed by pikes. General surrounded here. This is the center general's. Uh, the center army's general. Like that uh, center which is now getting enveloped. There's like hardly any Grim Hammers left. There's like, what, a dozen? If, if that. And they're getting surrounded. And the, that general's now broken. And there you go, the allied general has just died. But the dwarves don't care, they, their morale should be okay. But I say that as more units break for the, the uh, Erebor center army. And it looks like it's come down just what is left to the right. I mean, they've got a lot of crossbows, a lot of ammo. But I don't think it's enough uh, hope. 
And you can see, yeah, it's just down to the right force here. So it looks like the dwarves are going to be beaten today uh, by the Orcs of the Misty Mountains. And they're not going to be able to retake Moria. History will be changed. Um, a real shame. We needed Thorin with his uh, Oaken Shield. And he may have been able to kill the Azog. I don't know where Azog is. There's I te technically, I guess, three Azogs with their champions of Dolgoth, though. I think one of the annoying things here was just that they set up too early. I think they should have just set up on this hill. Allowed us to, like, fight a little bit more over this hill and a bit more over the map. Um, but, uh, yeah, we didn't really get a setup. We just kind of, like, basically set up in this small area. And then just all of a sudden, boom, they were right in front of us. And we're like, well, okay. Um, what, well, we can't do much here. And we just kind of didn't get to use our crossbows. But, uh, I mean, yeah, it's a... The scenario kind of, it's kind of worked well. Either that, or we just needed a fourth dwarven army. Um, I think it's one of the, the dwarven players. Like, well, the dwarves should be able to win a four v three quite easily. Uh, their quality is good enough. And they nearly did, in fairness. I think if we'd, uh, like I said, had a bit more time to set up, we could have been okay and done a lot better uh, and used our crossbows a bit, like, to more effect. Which I know Gold Dogal Dog didn't want to do, but. Um, if we had them, we might have been a bit more... Uh, it might have been a bit closer. There is still about 4,000 uh, orcs, I think, on the battlefield at this point. Yeah, it's 4,500. So we killed a lot of them off. We killed over 10,000 orcs off. Um, and they've killed 5,000 orcs. So it's a 2 to 1. So every dwarf was killing 2 orcs uh, at that rate. So that's a pretty good rate. So we, uh, yeah, a 4th army may be enough to then overwhelm. Or certainly make it a lot closer. And that 4th army could have just... like Even if we started like how we did in this battle... The 4th army could have just then decided to put like troops elsewhere uh, and just like had a full infantry army and just put troops elsewhere into the line which would have been really useful uh, because certainly on my flank I was like having a real issue. You can see like all the bodies down here. It's just uh, it's just insane. All these bodies along this long long line here. But uh, yeah it's coming down to the last few units and uh, the dwarves are slowly getting surrounded. A real shame you can see in there. Look at that. Look at that poor pocket of Dolgood Dot. Uh, they're not Dolgoldor, Grim Hammers. Been surrounded by Dolgoldor. But, uh, yeah, I mean, there's that. I mean, yeah, they're breaking now. General in here, we've got one of the, uh, you can say one of the uh, generals for each army was, you could have Thrall, Thrain, and Thorin. So we'll say this is like Thorin because it's the last one standing. I guess I was Thrain because I was the first to get killed, got decapitated. Thrall when oh no I was Thrall so yeah I was Thrall because I got decapitated first Thrain was the, is the middle army and then uh, in, in the books Thrain died already Thrain dies in uh, combat to Azog the Defiler um, nowhere near Moria he dies uh, like on the road somewhere but yeah that is going to be the battle and the dwarves a valiant defeat lose and they are not able to retake Moria so uh, yeah like I said history has been changed and we'll end the replay and have a look at the end results uh, quickly. As you can see here, we have uh, myself playing as uh, this Erebor army. I've got 294 kills for my Grimhammers. Really nice kills for them. My Erebor Axe Warrior is getting 208 kills, 232, 385. Insane. That's really, really good. Grimhammers here, 560 kills. Uh, my Erebor Crossbows, 268. Did really well. Then we have uh, Boris here, who's playing as another Erebor uh, army, obviously. Uh, his uh, general getting 305 kills. His Erebor Axe Warrior is getting 256. Uh, Grimhammer's 581 kills. Uh, 354 with the other. His spears held the line. Didn't get many kills, but held the line. That was really key. And his uh, crossbow is getting 207 kills, so not doing too bad either. Then we have uh, Heads here, or the real Alex Albon, who was playing as uh, uh, Erebor, obviously again. Uh, his general getting 398 kills, which is the best one out of the three of our generals. Uh, we then have his Erebor Axe Warriors here, 363, I think the best one actually is. Then we've got his uh, Grimhammer's 618, and the other one got 531, did insanely well. His crossbow's getting 242 kills, uh, did again really, really well. And then we have uh, Teak WX here, who was playing as uh, one of the Dolgodor armies. Uh, let's have a look, see what he's got best. I mean, his uh, Blades here got 143 kills. His uh, Champions of Dolgodor, 199, which is okay. I mean, these guys... Are really good they probably should actually be uh, they're nearly on par with these grim hammers so you expect more kills from them uh, and then his uh, artist side did nothing and we've got ghost who's playing as another uh, army of uh, dol Gordor, the misty mountains he got 102 kills with his uh, gold or blades his uh, champions dol Gordor, 198 and uh, his pikes yeah didn't do too amazing but uh we're just supporting really then we have copper dance 
with his uh, Dolgaldor army. 327 kills with his uh, champions of Dolgaldor. I think they were fighting against me, and they had a really fun time just chopping down my uh, my poor dwarves. Uh, his infantry, though, did, like, very little. You can see here, doing, like, very little. I mean, his uh, Goldor Glaives did quite well. His other shock infantry, 119. Um, but yeah, his infantry only getting like 69 kills, 77, nothing amazing. Then we have Mythic Yeet here, who's playing as Dolgaldor, the final one. Um, 111 kills with his pikes, 112 with his uh, champions of Dolgaldor. His infantry, again, nothing amazing. And his wraiths, 90 kills, so uh, nothing uh, too fabulous there either. But there you go, the dwarves of Erebor have been defeated at Moria. They could not retake their old homeland of Khazad-dum. So they will once again go, uh, they will go longing to retake their homeland. And they will have to find a new place to uh, settle down. Maybe the Blue Mountains or somewhere like that. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this battle. It was a really, really fun one to do with the uh, Discord members. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and leave a comment to show your support. And don't forget to leave a uh, to hit that notification bell as well to make sure you know when the next Rise of Mortal Battle is out. And until next time, Legionnaires, I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.